Okay, we are back. Sorry, we had a PC crash very suddenly. Everything just froze, and there was nothing I could do about it. So, hopefully... Uh-oh. I think it has reverted my uh, audio delay, maybe? Or my webcam delay? Let me check. There was nothing I could do about it. Yep, webcam so delay. So, hopefully... Uh-oh. I think it has reverted my uh, audio delay. There, hopefully I will be synced again now, at least sometime soon. Phoenix, you can tell me about that, I suppose. And hope. let's just continue from where we picked up, or left off. Actually, you know what? Um, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and continue. I do want to... I am back, yes. Am I in sync again? Because the crash seems to have re it reverted my webcam delay. And then I fixed that, so hopefully my face and voice are actually in sync with one another now. Instead of the better part of a second off from one another. And luckily, Binding of Isaac saves the floor progress of a run, so that I... Let's see, what was in here again? I forget what was in here. I feel like it wasn't anything important. <laughs> Just money that we don't need. But yeah, Binding of Isaac saves your floor progress, not the rooms within a floor, but it saves where you are on a floor when you have a crash or something, or when the game is exited, so mid-game, so that we did not uh, lose what we're actually doing here. Although, honestly, I'm not super crazy about this run, so if we, if we die along the way, I'm not going to be too broken up about it, because it'll just mean we can switch over to Trails in the Sky a little sooner. And at this point, I'm pretty much ready to move on. I was almost tempted after the crash to just move on to that instead of continuing, but I kind of want to at least see through what we're working on here. And then... Okay, good. I'm glad that I am actually in sync. Because I definitely was not at first. Let's see, we looked in here and we were re-rolling how to jump, but we didn't get anything good out of it, so let's not waste our... No, Curse of the Maze! Quit it! Ugh, I didn't pay attention to the fact that that guy was a bomb champion. And let's see, we found out that was a bad pill. That was health down. And this was perks, which I still don't know what it, what it even does. We did that, we took full health with us. And we were in the middle of fighting Mama Gertie, that's right. Just saying that in our current situation, Mama Gertie is almost a total non-threat because uh, we have flying, so the spikes she calls up out of the floor do nothing to us, um, and her shots are pretty easily dodgeable. Yeah, this is where I actually wanted to come because I wanted the battery. Oh, curse of the maze! Stop it! It's, Ah. Ah. We may actually die, which again, like I said, I'm not all that broken up about. And now we lost our deal with the devil that was in here too, because we didn't go into it at first. Because I wasn't paying attention, and sure, whatever, we'll take little Steven. This run is going very, very rapidly south, and I'm not real happy about it. But you know what? We can move on if we if we fail out, which is increasingly becoming a likelihood in this run, I think. Yeah, I am I am just so quickly losing patience with this run's particular 
idiosyncrasies after the crash and just like, yeah, you know. We don't really need to to do this forever. Okay. I wish we had our sight of our map on this, but we have a Curse of the Lost right now. Thing 2 is playing with her toys and calling out, Elsa, Elsa! That is adorable. <laughs> tempted to use one of my two bombs to just blow my way back out of this room instead of dealing with these things. But they're not that hard. They're just teleporty, that's all. I don't care for them. Sorry I'm all salty now. I'm just like... like, man, with the crash, that probably wrecked the VOD, or at least part of the first half of the VOD. And that's kind of a bummer. And, uh, this run is not not really doing wonders for me. But it's not the end of the world. And at this point, I just kind of want to move on to the next game on the docket. So if we if we die, which looks like it's not necessarily the only way this could go, but it definitely looks very likely I, in our near future, because the cathedral has a bunch of big rooms with annoying enemies that often can kind of be damage soakers for me in particular. It's a big floor, too, so even the fastest route to the boss is a little slow. I do not want that at all. What even is that? Number two. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a diaper, and that was a safety pin. I, I had a hard time even parsing what that looked like. I guess I should have gone into our secret room in the last room. I will go back for that. Yeah, that, that didn't even visually parse as a diaper in my brain at first. I mean, sure, let's spend some bombs blowing up mushrooms here, and I didn't get it close enough to Lemon Party. Nah, no good to us now. And that's explosive diarrhea. You almost want to buy a couple of... Hang on, I'll read that in a second. And now I don't have bombs. Hey, come over here and blow up this tinted rock. Or whatever happened there can happen, I guess. I'll use this full health pill now, and I suppose, since I have so little health. What am I... What is happening? Oh, is that what number two is? It randomly lays bomb... like, butt bombs. I... I don't... yeah. That's what it does. I don't like that. I mean, if I was a little... now that I'm aware of it, I guess it's not the end of the world, although it's a little random and inconvenient. And dangerous if you're not paying attention. It could also be good for you, I suppose. And use our second full health pill that we got. You know, we're holding up okay for uh, the situation. Ah, he says, and immediately takes one third of his tiny amount of available health in worth in damage. Ah, yeah, we're we're not making it through the Isaac fight. There is just no way. And 
once I am either done here or dead here, I will uh, read your message there, Phoenix. Sorry. That, don't auto pause me, game. I don't want your sass right now. Well, and we're dead. <laughs> okay. I almost want to buy a couple of little people that Thing 2 already has, like a couple of Cinderella and painting them to be Anna and Elsa. That would be fun. Okay, well, we're going to take a short break, and then we are going to come back with Trails in the Sky. Thanks for joining us. Refresh the Trails in the Sky window so that it finds it here, I think. There we are. Okay, we are back. This is The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I really know very little about this game. I know that it is the first in a trilogy. Let's play it on just normal because I don't really know what we're in for. This is a JRPG that I believe originally came out in the early 2000s and recently, in the last couple of years, got translated for the PC. And this is Estelle. Mm, Daddy's really late. I even got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. And Shiro's gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit before dinner. Hey, I'm home. Daddy! <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Did you take good care of the house while I was away? <laughs> of course I did. Did you run into any trouble, Daddy? You didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope, I'm as fit as a fiddle. That reminds me, though, I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? A new fishing pole? Sneakers? Something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you go play outside with it on. Anyway, Daddy, what's with the big blanket? Is that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now why don't you come have a look? What? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? Why is my present a boy? Don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? Looks kind of dead, if you ask me. I've treated his wounds, so he should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> I like how nonchalant he is about the fact that she thought he was dead. He's just like, oh no, he's fine. I treated his wounds. He's good. It's okay that you thought he was dead and that I brought his corpse to you as a present. That's perfectly healthy. He sure sleeps soundly, and he almost looks the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that, too. He certainly does have a nice head of dark hair, and a pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. That's nice and all, but how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up? Yeah, who is this kid, anyway? And why is he hurt? Why did you bring him to our house? Is he his illegitimate child or something? Did you betray Mommy? Where have you been picking up these kinds of words? No doubt from Sherazard, I assume. Yep, that's right. 
heaven's sake, that girl is going to get me into trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business, and I don't even know his name. You mean bracer business? Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. Ugh. Wow, his eyes really are the color of amber. Psst. Where am I? So, you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my humble home. You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. He looks so done with everything. He's just like, mm-mm. That's... What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why... Why didn't you just leave me there to die? Why? Well, that's a question I don't know how to answer. Does things just worked out that way work for you? Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey! You're sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that is just going to make it take longer for your body to heal. And just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She's my daughter. Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Now that you mention it. Wait a minute. Don't try to change the sub... Ow! Quit yelling! All right, all right already. But you jumping on me like that isn't going to make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is just going to make things worse. Do I hear... yelling? Never mind, just forget it. As a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in this house. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name. You know, that thing people call you? I told you mine already, so don't you think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Um... Seems like the logical thing to do, if you ask me. Trying to hide it now would only serve to your detriment. Fine. My name is... It's gonna give us a naming screen, probably, isn't it? Oh, and it's asking me if I want to use FFD Show for... A uh, cutscene, I assume. Or did we. Did it just skip a cutscene there? Or is this the cutscene? I feel like we may have lost a cutscene there. Yeah, we definitely lost a cutscene there. Um, let me see. Sorry, I have to look this up now because I, we don't want to miss something. Because I feel like we definitely lost a cutscene there. Um, we may have just accidentally skipped it by pressing a button again. Um, you know, this is going to slow us down a little bit, but we are going to actually restart. And so that we don't miss the cutscene this time, I'm sorry about this, but I'm pretty sure that an intro cutscene is going to be important. And I don't want us to miss out on it. Well, it, hmm. Hang on, can I disable FFD show? Because I think it broke the codec. I don't think the game likes the codec, the FFD show codecs. So let me go and take care of that. Let's see. Where is the 
this so I can exclude it, I think, because I think we broke the the game by telling it to use See what exactly is the I'm sorry this is not exciting streaming. Okay, so that I need to find the name of our uh, our program so that I can exclude it here. I'm going to edit so that this goes a little faster. There we go. That's easier. Okay, let's now try this one more time. We're going to relaunch. Sorry about this, but we don't want to miss out on cutscenes. That's probably important. I actually don't know how many cutscenes there are if this opening one is the only one, but we probably want to see it, if, even if it is the only one. Okay, so don't use FFD Show, because I don't want to... Well, no, wait. Let's try Don't Use FFD Show. No, that just... Okay, well, apparently there's something wrong with FFD Show then. Or maybe I just accidentally pressed a button. And now I have to go and edit that again. Let's see... Sorry, technical issues. <laughs> and I forgot to change the game name too, so we might as well do that once we get going on this again. And let me check something in the config tool. Yeah, this is this is definitely not exciting streaming, I know, but we will uh, we will get through here. Once again, it skipped the intro with FFD show, so that means that it's going to skip the cutscene too. Hang on a moment. try updating FFD show codec just because that might be uh, that might be the issue yeah forgive the crazy here Right now, all we have is a black screen because I'm working on hopefully fixing stuff, so. All right, let's give this another try. It started playing, but, and now it's tiny. There we go. This is getting silly. All right, I'm going to try one more thing. And 
if this doesn't work, we may just figure something else out for the opening cutscene. Okay, let's give this one more shot with this setup and see if perhaps it works now. No, it, it just died partway into the cutscene. Well, cutscene, the opening intro video. Why did it crash? I still have one more thing to try. I don't know if it could do anything. But uh, what we might do if we have no other choice is just do a screen capture of a YouTube video of the cutscene so we can at least see it. But let me try this. So let's relaunch the game one last time. Sorry about all this trouble. Well, it skipped the cutscene entirely that time. Or the intro cutscene. This maybe it keeps thinking about it and now it's not even now it's not even displaying for me so <laughs> hi <laughs> thing two is saying and shouting hi apparently gonna just throw it here one more time and uh, we will see if we get anything 
At this point, I am kind of suspecting that we will not. No. Well, okay, here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go find a YouTube video of the opening cutscene. We're going to do a video source that is just like... Uh, let me see... Can I get it from, like, window capture here, maybe? Okay, yeah, this should give us what we're looking for here. We don't need to go through all this, thank you. Just get to the opening cutscene that we wanted to. Because we're going to have to go th back through this again ourselves in a minute. Good, I'm glad they have their mouse cursor on the middle of the screen for all of this. Now you move your mouse cursor out of the way, video capture person. Okay, well, that at least gives us the cutscene so that we can have seen it. 
The art is very cool, for sure. It didn't tell us anything about the game, but I'm glad we at least got the chance to see it. And now let's relaunch the game, go back through the uh, opening, like the intro sequence, as quickly as we can, and actually get moving on the game. And, uh, yeah, sorry about the weirdness with that, but at least it was something we were able to see. You gave thing to a cookie, and she's back to watching Frozen. All right, so normal. Let's see if we can just kind of rush through this intro as quickly as possible. Since we have already seen it once. streaming sorry about this we're just we're working on it we're getting there I feel like we're gonna like this game for sure because this intro the first time through when we actually were reading it like uh, it was very charming I like the beginning to this I like the art style I've heard good things about this game, and uh, eventually once we get this through this one, I will have to actually buy a second chapter, since it just came out a few days ago. And hello, second viewer who has recently arrived. We will uh, actually get back to properly playing the game. We went through this intro once already actually reading all the dialogue and uh, basically the intro cutscene was supposed to play there which it does, isn't really important but we wondered if it might be and it did not play because of uh, codec issues and so we had to go try to figure that out and so now we're just kind of rushing through this opening to get to part of the game that we have not already seen and we are just about there. Okay. This is where the cutscene would play if it worked. And it doesn't work, so I'm glad that we went and found the video and just watched it on YouTube. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. You already like this game, Phoenix. I I think we're going to enjoy this one. I think this will be fun. Ugh, it's so bright in here. Whew. <laughs> mm, I slept like a rock. Hmm, that must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. I wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. Ah, guess that's a no. Well, I guess I'd better get myself ready then, too. I take it Joshua plays harmonica. <laughs> nice, Joshua. Bravo. Good morning, Estelle. I hope I didn't wake you. Nah, I was already up when I heard you start to play. I can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. Not that I mind what with that siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. What do you mean, woman? We're the same age, and I'm hardly a man. Tisk tisk. how wrong you are, Joshua. We may be the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, how fortunate for you. You could at least try and sound a tiny bit sincere. I did say fortunate for me, I thought it might have been. It really is a nice tune, though. Cheerful, yet somehow wistful. I like your other songs too, of course, but this one's my favorite. Uh, what's it called again? 
The Whereabouts of Light. That's right, The Whereabouts of Light. I wish I could play the harmonica like you, Joshua. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. It's really just a matter of concentration. You're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise, too? All your hobbies are sitting around kind of stuff, like reading and music. No girl's gonna be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies, although I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and has a fetish for sports shoes? Uh, that's enough talk about hobbies for now. And for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Estelle! Joshua! Morning, Dad! Good morning, Dad. Is breakfast ready? Ready and waiting. Why don't the both of you hurry on down before it gets cold? Okay, I'm on my way. Thanks for the grub, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, Estelle? Hmm. Like people say, kids who eat and sleep a lot grow a lot. Well, make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work, too. That reminds me, you two are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. And once we're finished, we'll be bracers just like you, Dad. It means I'm not going to let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. And Estelle, keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? Please tell me you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not we've mastered the skills we've been learning in training? Don't you remember Shara saying if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of extra homework? Crap, totally forgot. Now that you mention it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it, I'm sure we'll manage somehow or other. I honestly don't know how you've survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Huh, you're the one that raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike. Whatever. We should probably head over to the guild soon, Estelle. Cher is going to be waiting there for us. How's the audio balance, Phoenix? Are we good? Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy scary she gets when she, someone keeps her waiting. The audio isn't drowning out my voice, is it? That's what I'm concerned about. Oh, before I forget, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything particular you'd like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Hmm, something I'd like to eat, huh? How about Ron-styled scalloped fish in a balsamic vinegar sauce? What's that? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle. Or our stomachs. You're right, I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelette. No need for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude! But I can't actually say he's wrong. Actually, I do have one favor to ask before you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the Liberal News from the General Goods Store. They're supposed to be getting the latest edition in today. Got it. One copy of the Liberal News from the General Goods Store. Received 500 Nira. If there's any money left over, you can have it as your allowance. However, that means no wasteful spending. All right. Thanks, Dad. Oh, good. Glad that the audio is good. Okay, we're heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard. Give Sherazard my regards. And we're in control now. Holy cow. Apparently, default is run, and run is so fast. <laughs> like, By the way, Dad, is it going to be alright if you stay at home like this instead of going to the guild today? You haven't been there for a couple of days now. Unfortunately, I have a lot of paperwork to sort out, but don't you worry. I'm carrying a big enough workload that the guild's not likely to fire me anytime soon. That's not exactly the most convincing thing I've heard come out of your mouth. Yeah, I feel like that run is actually way too fast right now. Maybe we'll start using it later, but for right now, I feel like it is overwhelmingly fast. Oh, and this is our pause menu. Evidently. I like the character art. 
has twin dirks and a leather vest. She has a birch staff and a leather vest. Cool. So. Orbment, items, tactics. Looks like we're going to have a lot to learn here. Yeah. So the check button, I'm assuming, is the A button. I just don't know what I can check and what I can't. I'm sure we'll get the hang of it. Guild makes you think of fairy tale? Yeah. Let's see. Can I actually not check stuff? Or is this just not checkable stuff? Because this is always the... Uh, this is always the pause button. So... Or not pause, I guess. And we have a map screen, that's good to know. Well, I guess there's nothing to immediately look at around here, so we will figure out more about the game as we go. So we know what our check button is now. West, Bright House. North, Rolent. South, Green Gate. I don't know what 49 Selge or 259 Selge or Selge. I assume that's a measure of distance. Um, where exactly are we supposed to be going? To the Bracer Guild, but which way is the Bracer Guild? <laughs> Now Thing2 has another cookie and is watching the stream. Fine. <laughs> um, seriously, I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going. I guess we can run while we're out here, because it's faster for distance like this. City of Relent. Person was just walking into a box up there. Looks like we made good time. Not too early or too late, either. We just barely graduated from Sunday school. I never dreamed we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today's our last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one who signed up to be a bracer in the first place, so I don't know why you'd expect to get away with any less effort. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I did. All right, then. Let's get to it and make it through this last hazing from Shara. You look ready to me. Let's go meet with Shara at the Bracer Guild over there, then. Bracer Guild is... Alright, this red building. That was what I wanted to know. You are just... I'm just on my way over to the forest of Mistwall to the south of here for work. There was a merchant from Bose who came here, by the... here to buy lumber. I need to get enough ready for the order I received. I'm just gonna... Just gonna walk... Keep trying to walk into those boxes. Roland Bracer Guild. Stop pausing. Where's the door? Here's the door. Okay. There you two are. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning, Joshua. Morning, Ina. Ina? Aina? I'm not actually sure. Good morning. I'm gonna pronounce it Aina, okay? Like... Is Shara here? Yes, yeah, she's waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. So, upstairs. Should I talk to her more? Maybe just repeating. Okay. I assume these are, like, guild job boards, basically. The Star and the Hanged Man. The Hermit and the Magician. Hey, tarot cards! More tarot cards. And last of all, Inversion Through the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. This is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Good morning, Shara! Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, this is a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's my last day of training, I figured why not? I'm ready to get this show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm. Aina is how I think I'm going to pronounce it, yeah. But I'm going to work you hard today in every way I can think of to make sure that high, that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. 
I hope you're ready. I can feel that enthusiasm dropping already. Quiet, you. Every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is my way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it dribble out your ears like it usually does. Ah, Joshua, Shira's picking on me! Don't worry, Shira. While Estelle may hate studying and rarely ever does her homework, acts rashly, is overly naive, and has a tendency to stick her nose into everything, her instincts are sharp, so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an orbment with some practice. Eventually. Probably. I guess there's not much I can do now except hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow I get the feeling you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's odd. I'm positive I described all your best traits accurately. Whatever. By the way, Cheryl, what were you trying to predict with your tarot cards? Your face was really intent. Oh, this? I was just trying to get a vague reading about what might happen in the near future. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have been in the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. You couldn't read the cards? Now that's surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. But that's not important now. I think it's time you start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in your previous training. This is the minimal level of knowledge that bracers should have in order to function effectively. And Estelle, make sure you pay especially close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's know about orbments first. Orbments are mechanical devices which operate by using what is known as orbital energy. A variety of effects can be produced depending on their structure and the type of quartz or processed septium installed. Although it's only been about 50 years since their invention, these devices play an integral role in all facets of life from lights, heaters, and other everyday object products, to weapons, magic, even airships. In connection, this technological reform is commonly known as the Orbital Revolution. Okay, about bracers now, how about that? Bracers are investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They aid the community in various ways such as exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items, and escorting people and goods. The Bracer Guild, which has established, has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the Bracers in each region. And about the Liberal Kingdom... The Kingdom of Liberal, in which we live, sits on the western half of the Zamorian continent and abounds with nature and deep-rooted traditions. Liberal is proud to be one of the leading producers of septium on the continent, as is known for its high level of technology used to develop orbments. Orbment technology has also been a key pillar of support for Liberal in protecting its independence as it is contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago, when Liberal was invaded by the Arabonian Empire, it was the use of orbital-powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now, our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive, but thanks to the Queen's political finesse, Liberal enjoys peace. That's good. Let's see, since we've got a mountain of stuff to do today, I'll let you off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm going to speed things up now and move on to the practical portion of your training. Uh, Shara, how is today's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Since it's practical, that means you will be experiencing things firsthand. Therefore, I'm going to have the t both of you run through everything as if this were a real bracer job. So what you're saying is there won't be any studying at a desk involved? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. This time you'll have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure to have you work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Yes, that's seriously just what the doctor ordered. I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with my tush parked at a desk. I guess I got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful, Estelle. Let's just hope that smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Okay, let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Let's have at it! Your first objective will be to confirm, confirm the details of the job you will be performing, but before that there's something we need to give the both of you. Aina, are they ready? Yes, they are. Alright, you two. Go get one for each of yourselves. Um, one what? These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Received Bracer Notebook. Bracer Notebooks serve as the official way to record the status of your current jobs, also anything you may hear or anything that you may find and wear. These kind of trivial things can often become clues. No matter how insignificant something may seem, always write it down. Understood. Crap, this sounds like it's going to be a pain. Oh? Please tell me it was my ears playing tricks on me, because I swear I only got one response. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there were two. Keeping an accurate account of events is an important duty for all bracers, so get with the program and stop trying to make this out to be more than it really is, Estelle. Okay, okay, I got it. Make sure you do. Alright then, let's begin. Look over by the door. You can see that there's a bulletin board standing there. 
first, I want you to go and check the job description posted there. When the bulletin board is approached, a, an exclamation point will appear. Pressing the OK button will display the job list. By selecting the job names on the list, you can view their details. Training Retrieval. Turn Long. Pay 500 Nira. Direct request. This training will involve searching the sewers beneath Relent and bringing back the contents of a chest. See Shares Archer details. Details of the job confirmed on the bulletin board and other important events will be automatically recorded in the Bracer Notebook. The Bracer Notebook can be easily found by clicking on the Books tab of the Items menu and also accessed by configuring a Bracer Book shortcut button on the Configuration menu. I probably ought to do that, I figure. Very good. It looks like you were able to see what was posted without any trouble. Checking the bulletin board is one of the most basic functions a Bracer performs on their job. Checking regularly to see whether or not there are any urgent tasks which need immediate attention is also an important duty for Bracers. Man, all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. Sure, there are a lot of rules to follow, but there's an equal level of responsibility in the jobs themselves. I think being a Bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude. Um, I guess you're right. I'll just have to be more motivated. <laughs> Had a change of heart, have you? You betcha! Well, before all that motivation sneaks off somewhere, let's get to work on your next task. What will we be doing this time? We'll be heading across the street to Mr. Melder's Orbal Factory and learning about how to use its services. He's graciously taken time out of his work schedule to explain things, so make sure to be on your best behavior. Okay. And here we are. We teleported here, evidently. <laughs> Here is where you will learn how to use an Orbal Factory's services. At an Orbal Factory, you can modify your ornaments and sy synthesize support quartz in order to use Orbal Arts. Arts have a wide range of effects, and if mastered, can be extremely helpful. The Bracer business is a pretty risky occupation, so the Guild has had a long-standing relationship with these Orbal Factories. Anyway, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical details to the expert. So, Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over from here. No problem. Leave everything to me. So, what is it you would like to know about? Ordnance are mechanical devices which exhibit an array of effects through the installation of various types of quartz. By definition, that means lights, airship engines, and so on are also types of ordnance. However, the ones we'll be discussing today are battle ordnance, which enhance the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. Since each ordnance is adjusted to match the owner's personal aptitude, the structures for these devices also differ for each owner. Simply put, the shape of the fixed elemental slots and lines which connect them vary. At any rate, that's the layman's explanation. In order to install quartz, you must first have an open slot. By default, the central slot is open, but the other slots must be opened at an orbital factory like this. It'll take a fair amount of sepith, too. EP, which is needed for magic, will also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. I recommend opening all of them as soon as possible. So what is it you would like to know about? Simply put, Orbal Arts are magic which can be discharged exclusively through the use of battle ornaments. In other words, a number of peculiar effects can be produced by using the Orbal energy stored within these mechanical devices. Since Orbal Arts can be a mouthful, they are almost universally referred to as arts, probably ought to have been called that from the get-go. I just realized I did not change the name of the game again. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Done. Okay. There are several types of arts, but in order to be able to use them, their corresponding quartz must first be synthesized in an orbital factory. Ordnance are also set up so that once a particular quartz is installed into a slot, the owner will be able to use those arts. The type of arts one can use also changes depending on the elemental value and the combination of installed quartz. Basically, if you want to use water arts, all you have, water arts, water arts. That made too many orb words there that I was, <laughs> and quartz. <laughs> all you have to do is install quartz with a water elemental value. In reality, ornaments are much more complex than what I have described, but I think this information should suffice for now. Quartz are circuits made from sepith. Quartz have a vast number of effects and raise the owner's abilities while simultaneously making it possible for them to use arts. However, you will not be able to harness any of these effects until quartz has been installed into a slot. However, there are also fixed slots in which only a certain type of elemental quartz can be installed. This being the case, when you synthesize a new quartz, be sure to check your ornament and decide where you'll be installing it ahead of time. Sepith are fragments of septium which are dropped by monsters. They're divided into seven types. Earth, brown, water, blue, fire, red, wind, green, time, black, space, gold, and mirage, silver. We're gonna have to... we'll learn that over time, I'm sure. 
Sepith can be exchanged for Mira almost anywhere, but at the Orbal Factory it can be used to synthesize quartz and to open ordnance slots in which to install the synthesized quartz. I think that's all we need to know here. It looks like Mr. Melders has answered, answered all your questions. If there's nothing else, then let's have you both try and use the services here. For that, you're going to need some Sepith. Receive several of each type of elemental sepith. With that amount, you two should be able to synthesize a few quartz. Now I want you to begin by first making an elemental quartz that will work with each of your particular ornaments. In your case, Estelle, any elemental is, uh, quartz is okay, but for you, Joshua, it has to be a time elemental quartz. Normally, at a shop, you would be able to exchange sepith for Mira, but for this train, you will not be able to use this service. Okay, select modifier trade. Good work so far. If you need to use the Orbital Factory, give Freddy a holler over there. Let's see, talk. Looks like you two are doing well in your training. If you would like to modify your ordnance, please select the Modified Trade Service. So, synthesize, or, well, slots. We should open slots if we can. Um, that costs more than we have. For Joshua, it costs the same. So, let's then... Let's see. So, black is time. So, for Joshua, we have to make that one. And, uh... I guess we just make one of each of these, don't we? in there. And for you, let's see, still only one slot open for her, or... Yeah, yeah. So, for Estelle, let's see... Let's give her... like you were able to synthesize one. Next, I want you to increase the arts you can use. Now install the quartz into your ordnance so that you can use both recovery and attack arts. I did that. Now install... No, wait. So well, you can use both. Make sure recovery and attack arts are divided up between them. If you're lacking the necessary quartz, you can synthesize them. Um, we will learn how to use this. Let's just go back into here. It's probably a little easier for us to figure it out. Um, It's the only one that has two things, so... Looks like you've got both recovery and attack arts set up. If you balance your arts out between each other like you've done here, it should make dealing with monsters much easier. Additionally, your bracer notebooks contain information about which quartz allow you to use which arts. If you'd like to use more powerful arts, check out the arts and quartz charts in your bracer notebooks and find something that works for you. Alright, our training here is almost finished. Last of all, I'm going to have one of you open a new slot in your ordinance. The more slots you have available to you, the broader range of choices you'll have. Since EP, which is consumed by using arts, can have its max value increased by opening up slots, it would be a good idea to open them all early on. Now I want you to use this sepith and open a slot on each of your ordinance. Go ahead and decide which slots you're going to open. Okay. Do we need to do that over here? I think we do, yeah. Slot. Okay. 
openable, openable. So it's just one to either side. Let's go. You know, I don't know what difference it really makes. Um, let's just open this one since it's on this side and it's slot two. And let's do the same on... Oh, we can't open one on each. We only have enough to open Estelle's then. Okay. So you've managed to open one of your orbit slots, Estelle. Since your central slot is not limited to a particular elemental, you are free to install any type of quartz you like. This concludes your training here at the Orbital Factory. Now it's time to move on to what you've both been waiting for, the qualification test. Pardon? D did you just say test? You can't honestly tell me you forgot about the test again, can you? Didn't I remind you just this morning? Uh, <laughs> now that you mention it, I vaguely remember some sort of talk along those lines at the breakfast table. Sometimes I fear for the future of the Bracer Guild and humanity. Oh well, no sense in worrying about that now. Let's head over to the testing area. You mean like now? I don't know if I'm ready for... How about a little, yes la a little, ya a little less yapping and a little more walking? <laughs> Joshua, help me! Mr. Melders, Freddy, thank you for all your help. Don't mention it. Good luck with that test of yours. We'll be rooting for you. I'm going to remember that you left me high and dry like this, Joshua! <laughs> all your training has finally come down to this. Your qualification test will begin here. I expect to see you both use what you've learned up to this point. Understood. What's wrong, Estelle? Um, Shara? What now? I was kind of wondering, but is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did Cassius drop you on your head as a child or something? You just read what it said on the bulletin board not that long ago, right? Yeah, and? And I even made you jot down what you read in your bracer notebooks, unless you forgot that too. I'm pretty sure the job listing mentioned searching for and retrieving an item from the sewers. Ringing any bells yet? What a relief. Oh, divine Idios. Idio. Idios. Idios, we'll say. <laughs> I give thanks to thee for thy infinite grace in bestowing upon us such wonderful gifts as sewers. So, what you're really saying is that you thought it was a paper test? No wonder you were acting all crazy back at the horrible factory. Ah, I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in a classroom are starting to feel like grand memories indeed. I'm really starting to wonder if we'll even be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? All right, that's enough jabbering, you two. This is supposed to be a test, so how about the both of you try to look at least a little anxious? Just so you know, though, if you do happen to flunk the test, you don't even want to imagine the kind of homework I have in store for the both of you. <laughs> we'll be fine. Just tell us what you want us to do and let us loose. Well, if you're so confident, then how about proving that you're not just blowing hot air with the results of your test? Anyway, as you both saw on the bulletin board, this test will be a search conducted in Roland's sewers. Your objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest which has been placed somewhere within that area. The layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you don't need to worry about getting lost either. However, there are real living, breathing monsters down there, so if you get careless and let down your guard, you will be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. Tier bomb times three, and a monster guide. What's this book for? It's called a monster guide, and it's used to record information about monsters and other opponents you meet. Whenever you figure out an enemy's attributes, you should make an immediate note of it in there. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. He who controls the flow of information controls the tide of battle, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Shara. We'll put it to good use. Alrighty then, let's get pumped and knock out this test. Let's. Don't forget though, this is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such. Okay then. I guess we're gonna find out what our battle system is like here. Wait a minute, so. There appears to be a recovery point over there, so we should use it if our HP or BP is low. Ordnance charging stations are recovery points set up in dangerous areas. As a recovery point is approached, an information point will appear. Two choices will be displayed. By selecting the rest option, all HP and BP will be restored. Sounds like a plan to me! So is that our save point, basically, I'm assuming? Oh, and we need a rest. Let's go ahead and do that, just for the sake of uh, doing it. Let's see, we cannot turn the camera right now, but apparently that is a thing we can do eventually. 
that gives us a world map. Let me click that. That doesn't do anything. And files is where we save it. Let's go ahead and save right now. Monsters at 12 o'clock. Be careful not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Got it. Monsters cannot be seen from far away, but will become visible as you approach them. The conditions at the start of battle will change depending on how a monster is engaged. Engaging an enemy from behind is advantageous, while being attacked by an enemy from behind is disadvantageous. We're just going head on here with whatever these things are. Battle order bar indicates who attacks first, starts from the top and moves down. Can't use any arts right now, so. Oh, it's a tactical RPG. Nice. I I like I like tactical RPGs. Although I need to get used to which way is up and which way is down in our isometric. Oh, there we go. I can switch it so that it's uh... when we're in isometric mode. I should know though. Let's see. Oh, I can't move and attack in the same turn. Highlight area indicates the distance a character can move. Selecting a target in this area will move the character to attack. When an enemy is out of range, this icon will appear on your cursor. Selecting an out of range target will move the character as close to it as possible, but no attack will be performed. Okay, well, I'm glad I know that now. Dirty rats. <laughs> Go on and get closer. They don't seem to have any interest in attacking us right now since this is still tutorial stuff. Alright, we're good to go. I, I didn't actually even know that it was uh, a tactical RPG, but that's good to know. So we've got some Sepith here. Here comes some more! Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not physical attacks. Okay! Arts are effective on enemies that are good at avoiding physical attacks. Arts also make long-range attacks possible, but they require time to be cast. EP is consumed when arts are used, can be recovered by resting at inns, hotels, or using charge stations, and other items like an arc and EP charge. All arts have an element. I didn't read that last part. That's a healing spell. Water attack. It's a heavy stream of water and enemies. Moth cluster. Let's just go for the one nearest to Estelle. And clock up speeds the flow of time. It's you, Phoenix. Soul blur emits a time space shaking pulse. So that's a support. This is an attack. And let's go ahead and attack. This one. That's cool. Also cool. Especially, it looks like she uh, she lost a fair amount using that. Yeah. Uh, the phone rang, and I just said it was you. <laughs> That's all. Still, let's try using crafts this time around. Since crafts have other effects besides just dealing out damage, they're worth a shot. Watch that! Crafts have range limits but can be utilized instantly. CP is gained by dealing out or receiving damage during battle. 
Okay. So we've got craft points and uh, character specific skills, which not only deal out damage, but also have a broad range of effects. enough for morale, which encourages Joshua and anyone else that might be in our party. Come on. His crafts then dual strike, unleashes a double slash with dual blades. Let's just go for this one, not that it probably matters right now. Oh hey, you actually attacked. work, hero. Let's see, we don't know exactly what we were, uh... There we go. Turn the page, train retrieval. So, that's probably not the chest we need to bring stuff back from. Oh, what a surprise! Another creepy thing. I wish there were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S-Craft or S-Break should do the trick for just about any enemy. The catchers are CPS to be at least 100 to pull off one of those moves. These devastating attacks can only be unleashed when the CP gauge is above 100. S-Breaks are actions which allow S-Crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order. S-Crafts which are unleashed, are unleashed as S-Breaks can be changed by going to tactics and then set S-Break within the main menu. Well, we'll figure out what that means as we go along, I'm sure. S-breaks are actions which allow S-crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order once the CP gauge has reached zero. S-crafts, which will be used as S-breaks, can be changed by going to tactics. Yeah. Press the break button to unleash an S-break. Let's see. If you're using a keyboard... I'm using a controller, although I could use... Let's put that one in the back with it, I guess. Here I come. <laughs> yeah, that should be the trick, I would say. And, uh, we can reach this one too. Let's see. Let's save that because. We don't need it. We can just do this with normal attacks and maybe we can save that S break for another fight. More curative horns. Let's, see. Let's check up ahead first on this side. The door is rusted and appears to be locked. Assuming that that chest over there that was being guarded is the one we actually need to get into. Yeah. So let's go ahead and go into it. So that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? If we've made it this far, the rest is going to be a piece of cake. Seems like we've got a little breathing room at least. Let's pay close attention to our battle order this time. There should be a number of ways to get more mileage out of our actions. During battle, there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect regardless of whether they are allotted to an ally or a foe. Using s breaks to ignore the battle order makes it easy to jump in and strip an enemy of their turn bonus. These icons indicate the bonuses allotted to the battle order. If the bonus icon appears next to a character's icon, they will receive that bonus. Heal, HP, Sepith, Up, etc. indicate the effects of each icon. 
so we get HP heal this turn. Let's go ahead and use his uh, S break to take out that bone so that it's out of our way. Since this is a tactical RPG, we're probably actually going to have to think about this. Um, about positioning for attacking, but... But let's not worry too much about it. Right. Because if we do better if we attack from behind... There's not just one, but two is kind of interesting, too. I wonder what's inside. Remember, Estelle, our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. You're not fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. You can get away with a teensy weensy peek, right? If you feel like flunking today's test, then by all means, be my best. Did you just say the F word? Yep, opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client, and as long as they were nothing illegal, we'd have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. You absolutely have to know what's inside. Why not ask Miss Cheryl when we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. Uh, let's go ahead, just in case, before we head out stop at our charge station and rest to heal up, which Estelle especially needs. And back up. Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Hand it over the small boxes. Yep, they're the real deal, alright. I don't see any evidence of tampering, either. That was a close one. I figured she would try and set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You've successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, Cheryl, what's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and you to find out, after your training is finished. That's enough chit-chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say we passed the test? You still have to le learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? Oh well, no sense in giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed. It seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. Your 
Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting you how, how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch, and as you already know by now, Aina is in charge here at the Rolent branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you go both go ahead and report the results of today's training. Ninth class. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to take note of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you will receive. You'll also accumulate points, which are known as BP, or Bracer Points. BP are an indication of your achievements as a Bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you will advance in rank as a Bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer start at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of Mira and BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please have a look sometime later on. All that's left now, left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, Aina, and sorry about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it. Training new bracers is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? And knowing Shara, it'll involve the whip. <laughs> whip it! Whip it good! Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you will be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then. Sherazard holds out two small boxes. Aren't those boxes the ones? In answer to your question, yes. These are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside, Estelle. Are you saying it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! All right, let's have a look. Estelle and Joshua open the boxes. Receive Junior Bracer emblems. This crest is... So does this mean that we're... <clears throat> Estelle Bright, Joshua Bright. Beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as Junior Bracers within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two. And welcome into the fold. Did you hear that, Joshua? We become members of the Bracer Guild! So, I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua, you should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this! Look at us now, world! We did it! I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt the celebrations, Estelle, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand. You have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shara, I just wanted to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us, Shara. Don't mention it. Training new recruits is one of Bracer's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father Cassius trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There's actually much more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those, those new recruits who come after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable, respectable bracers like your father. I can English today. I promise. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. Um, I just don't get it. Get what? This is Sherazard, the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is it that she hold da holds Dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a, su as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as junior bracers. Right. What was it he wanted us to buy? I forget what it was. <laughs> Hurry up and come on! Wait for me, Luke! Huh? Oh, it's you two. Oh great, it's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you little twerp, what's with the oh great it's Estelle remark? And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? 
You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest, Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in boys' business? Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wannabe. <laughs> how wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. More wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk in Liberal than the milk that comes from the Purzel farm. What? No way. You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. Well, more like bracers in training, really. I don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now, a high pony, on the other hand. Quit being a killjoy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. I'm like that smart aleck and cynical brat you call a friend. This isn't fair! I was supposed to become a bracer first. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me, but getting passed by the likes of Estelle... What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old, get it? Only mature people allowed. And that means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You'd better watch out, Estelle. I'm gonna go train at my secret base, and before you know it, I'm gonna be a bracer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. Uh, all right, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. Boy, Luke, he's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it, it's just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I meant by curious. Let's see. We need to buy the yeah the news. I don't remember exactly where we were supposed to buy it. General goods, maybe. Hello there, Estelle and Joshua. What are you on the market for today? A new pair of shoes? Now that you mention it, are there any new ones in stock? You know, like the newest Stregas? Unbelievable. You've actually already forgotten why we came in here to begin with. We're not here to shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of the Liberal News for Dad, right? <laughs> oh, of course. But you've always been a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? I'm afraid that the new Stregas aren't out yet. I do, however, have some copies of the Liberal News in, if that's what you're after. All right, I'll take one copy, then. It comes to 100 mirror, please. Purchased issue one. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? Sure does. The Liberal knows that News has an excellent reporter and cam camera woman who've done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. They're even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. But enough about that. Why don't you tell me how you did today? Did you make it as bracers? Today was your last day of training, wasn't it? Yep, everything went smoothly, too. But how did you know about all that, Mr. Rhino? In a certain sense, both you and Joshua are like celebrities here in Roland. I tend to hear a lot from customers coming through here. Shouldn't have expected anything less from Roland. The grapevine around here is seriously something to be reckoned with. No kidding. The women here especially love to gossip. One more thing before you go. This gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but don't hold the free part against me. Recipe book? What's this supposed to be for? There's a ton of blank pages. It's a recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you get hurt fighting, if you just limit yourself to healing bulbs all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where a recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free, assuming you have all the ingredients anyway. So if you eat something new, write down what's in it, and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie, Estelle. Receive the maple cookie. Well, I have made it a personal rule to never turn down sweets. Eat maple cookie and learned maple cookie recipe. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an opportunity to try before. Well, that sounds pretty convenient. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking and all, it's just that I never seem to get any better. I'd sure love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit. And in passing, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'll be delighted to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Mr. Rhino. Thank you for the recipe book. We'll put it to good use. Eating the recommended dish at restaurants or using to-go meals adds the recipe to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all learned recipes will be displayed. As long as the necessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of food. Sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. The ingredients used for cooking can be bought at a store or acquired from monsters. 
Good to know. Anything useful you have in the shop? Um, ingredients are probably a good thing to get. Kibbled salt, huh? Well, let's get what we need for a maple cookie, just so that we, uh... And maple sugar. Yeah, let's just get that just in case we need it. Stella Joshua. Good afternoon, Mr. Elgar. Good afternoon, sir. Correct me if I'm wrong, but today is your last day of training, isn't it? I seem to remember you saying something about the last time I had you run the store. Yes, that's right. So how'd your training go? That emblem on your chest means you shouldn't have expected anything less from Cassius's kids. But we're still racers in training. I see. But, well, I knew you were going to have to give up your part-time job here sooner or later. Yes, I'm really sorry about that. Oh, don't sweat it. I knew it had happened eventually when I hired you on. It's a shame, though. There's hardly anyone out there with as good an eye for weapons as you. But that's the path you've chosen, so get out there and show us what you're made of. Let's see. Anything we can afford here? Mm, probably not. That is any better than what we have. Well, I don't know. We have more mirror than I thought because of the, uh, the mission that we went on. Prevents poison, prevents blind, prevent, uh, stimulates a pressure point, and prevents sleep. Those are probably good things to have. Um. Well, let's just for now buy to sell right now so let's just worry about getting more stuff later and let's go ahead and equip Joshua with the spikes let's see tactics set S break and we only have one S break right now battle position is, okay, if we, where they start when in battle, in formation, character position, and we can switch the party order so that we, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but good to know. Well, with that, Stell, Joshua, am I glad I found you two? Oh, hi, Aina. Is something wrong? You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents, but what's going on? You know Luke and Pat, right? Sure we do. In fact, we saw them not that long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies on the northern outskirts of Relent. You mean the Tower of Esmolus? Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Shira's already out on other bracer business, so I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Joshua and I will go after them and bring them back. I don't know if that's such a good idea. The two of you only just qualified to be junior bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in this situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I will take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. 
The Esmolas Tower can be reached by taking the western path at the junction along the Malga Trail. You can get onto the Malga Trail through Rolent's northwest gate. I'll be on standby at the guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, Joshua, we don't have any time to lose. I'm right behind you. And with that, we are going to cliffhanger, actually, because we are at the end of our time for the show. We actually have passed the end of our time, but we wanted to get through, I wanted to get through that, and so let's go ahead and save. Overwrite our save. And with that, let's close out the show. Let me open up my outro here. So thank you for joining me for tonight's Cyber Crash. I've been David Zane Ahrens. I'm going to turn on my outro now. If you enjoy the show, follow me on social media at at David Z. Ahrens on Twitter and Facebook.com slash Cyber Crash Show. You can tune in on Monday for more of Trails in the Sky and probably something else as well. We haven't decided on the docket for that yet, really. For U.S. viewers, uh, <coughs> regular streams are always Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings from 5 to 8 Mountain Time, and for U.S. viewers, that's 4 to 7 Pacific, 6 to 9 Central, and 7 to 10 Eastern. Mm -hmm. International viewers, uh, as of before Daylight Savings, that was UTC 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It may be different now. I have not checked to make sure. VODs will be archived for newcomers and slackers here on this Twitch channel and over at youtube.com slash user slash cybercrashshow. If you like this live content, I may also post some scripted content on that channel, like reviews, reactions, that sort of thing. Subscribe if you hang out on YouTube, comment if you have something to say. Our break music is Blue Squares Please by A and Mono. We currently use that track under a Creative Commons license. If you like what you hear, you should check them out and support them over at aandmono.bandcamp.com. I'm sure they would appreciate getting more views and listens. I'm David Zane Aarons. This has been Cybercrash. Until next time, zoom out, breathe out, and live like you mean it. Thanks for watching.